Pentonville Prison, Islington in North London in England. It was built in 1842. It's a Victorian style uh, prison built in that sort of era, so it's a bit out of date really. And it's a high security prison surrounded by a 25 foot wall. So you can rest assured any uh, hard uh, crim nosed criminals that are put in there will be safe from the general public. Well, not quite so. Two prisoners last Monday at time of recording have escaped from this supposedly high security prison. One um, was in there for attempted murder, the other for conspiracy um, to raid ATMs, i.e. bank hole in the wall machines, to steal money. Yep, two people have escaped from that high security prison. Brilliant. So the question has to be asked really, if this is a high security prison in the capital of England, London, how could two prisoners escape from their prison cell, um, avoid all the uh, supposed guards that have been paid for in here, um, get out over a 25 foot wall without anyone noticing? Apparently, get this, the two prisoners used diamond tipped cutting um, machine to drill through some bars to actually get out their cell in the first place. Um, doesn't this sort of machinery make some kind of noise? And even if it was a low noise machine, someone in the next cell or someone's bound to notice such noise, are they not? And how do you get a diamond edged cutting machine into a prison? It's not as if you could have like a visit to one of the uh, prison staff with it hidden up your um, uh, uh, jumper and hand it to the, uh, the prisoner there and they sneak it to their cell with view of um, drilling through bars later on. Some people are saying that maybe a drone, that's one of those flying radio control machines, flew over the wall and lowered it to uh, the men who collected it and took it again to their cell unnoticed by any guards or wardens. What the hell is going on? Well the story's sort of going now as they're doing a, an inquest into how this happened is the two prisoners, i.e. one wanted for attempted murder by the way, and the other for, um, well, ATM machinery, it's both criminals, and um, they've cut through these bars to get through a small window, as I understand it, onto a flat roof outside their cells, then using bed sheets knotted together, um, using them as ropes, they've lowered themselves to the ground, they've then, they've then sprinted along uh, the perimeter of the prison, all the time not getting spotted at all, then somehow managed to scout a 25 foot wall over into freedom. Now no doubt a car was waiting for them or somebody to help them escape and then they've just um, driven off. Uh, yeah, this is some high security prison all right. I don't know whether to admire these men or, or, or what really. I mean, when you think of prison escapes, you're thinking of grand stories of escape from Alcatraz and things like that. But this is from a modern Pentonville prison. Well, it's built in Victorian times, but modern security. This is modern day. This is 2016, folks. How can two prisoners escape from prison in this way? It's not an open prison, it's a closed prison. I mean, how did they avoid the guards in the first place? Um, the stories are going, first of all they said that these guys have built mannequins um, to put in their beds, but the stories slightly change a little bit. Um, they arrange pillows in their beds, right, to make it look like they were sleeping, so when the prison wardens passed to check if everyone was in there, they um, thought, oh, they're, they're, they're asleep in, that's fine, they, they're definitely in there, and that's what you would have thought, I would have imagined. Now, in prison, um, they have uh, prison jobs to do each day, uh, and then some people have um, at least one day off. And because these two prisoners happened to have the next day off, the prison warders didn't check to see if they was available, so time's elapsed, and then they managed to get away. Great. This is a great, oh, it's a great prison system, isn't it? It's not ridiculous at all. Pentonville Prison can house about 1,200 uh, people, but they're really losing control of it. The week prior to this, someone was killed, um, um, stabbed to death, I believe, because all manner of things are getting smuggled into this prison. There's um, a footage of a rope being pulled over the wall with a parcel tied uh, uh, below it. So this is rife. It, where's the security cameras on this? Who's looking at this? These prisons seem to be underfunded with not many um, people working there to actually monitor what's going on. 
Apparently, um, guards that are posted there only on average last about six to 12 months before they either give up or they're transferred somewhere else. So, so they, because they've got so little time there to get to know the building, it quite often the, the inmates there have been there longer than the actual guards monitoring them. So perhaps they know the prison more than the actual guards. And that just speaks uh, volumes. So they know the patterns, how things work. So they can just at leisure plan what they want to do. I'm not worried at all prisoners can escape, are you? Well, that's a lie. I'm damn worried. What next? At least it hasn't got really ridiculous and they've dug a tunnel and everyone's escaped at some point. Now that would just be stupid, but that's the next thing that would happen. They dig a tunnel, come up in someone's flat, out the side the back of their fridge, everyone escapes from the whole of Penterville prison. So what would you do if you was um, one of two prisoners that has somehow managed to escape using diamond cutting tools, um, knotted bed sheets to escape out onto the ground, you scaled a 25 foot wall, you then escaped with some waiting getaway car, so you'd done all the hard work, you'd fought it out, you'd put pillows in your bed, you thought about what's going to happen the next day to buy you some sort of time, so you'd done the perfect escape. So essentially then, if you was one of these people, you'd have to try and get out of the country, wouldn't you, as quickly as possible, because you know straight away once the police have realised, there'll be um, wanted posters put everywhere, you'd be high priority and everyone will be looking for you. At time of recording, they've already caught one of these guys and it's probably the most dangerous of the two, the one wanted for attempted murder. Um, he wasn't very, very clever really. As soon as he's got out, as I understand it, he started sending um, threats to people on Facebook. So essentially, immediately telling everyone exactly where he was. The police had a line going through, probably could trace where he's doing the, um, the taunts from, uh, and he got caught in, in Ilford. Uh, the other guy seems to be slightly cleverer. I don't know if he's the brains of the operation, um, the one that was targeting, targeting the ATM machines. We still don't know, at time recording, where he is. So he's out there somewhere. You know, if he's got any intelligence, he'll try and go abroad, but... Ah! What do you think of all this? Are you... Do you think it's great that these two people managed to escape, or do you think, like me, it's an absolutely uh, disgrace, really? Anyway, as I used to say on uh, Police 5 or Crime Watch, don't have nightmares. I'm sure they'll be caught and locked up soon, that other guy. Brilliant. Diamond, cu diamond cutting machine. That's huge! More money needs to be put into the training of wardens and guards in uh, prisons. The whole thing needs to be overviewed. It's absolutely... Um, well, it's ridiculous, isn't it, really? Absolutely ridiculous. Ah!